Hello Libra, Elsie here to do a reading for you for the week ahead. How are you, my beautiful, creative, balanced friends? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking here. And uh, just want to bring to your attention that the reading for the week ahead, the week ahead is the last week of the year. So this is the last... Um, the last reading for 2023 for you, Libra. This is uh, for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We're going to look at some uh, oracles first, and then we're going to follow up with some tarot. I just want to say thank you, Libra, for all the ways that you've been loving on this channel. Ten of Cups Tarot and uh, building this Libra tribe. Thank you so much for your clicks and your views. And um, if you haven't subscribed up to here, because a lot of you come by and give me the clicks and views, but you haven't subscribed. So thank you for subscribing if you intend on helping build this tribe. I appreciate you so much. All right, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's coming up in the week ahead for Libra? What's coming up in the week ahead for Libra, please? Peace. I like it. Look, it feels like somebody here, take it as, as <laughs> take, take it any way you can get it, Libra. <laughs> Absolutely. Look, it's peace, which is balance. We've got card number 23. It feels like you've had a hard time up to here. I want to say that it's been a struggle or it's been tough. The fives, when they come out by themselves, one five to me is the struggle. It is feeling disconnected or feeling as though things aren't going your way it is a poverty mindset feeling like you can't do it or it's not for you or everyone deserves it and you don't but I want to say that you're coming to peace with that I want to say that whatever has whatever has dragged you through 2023 I want to say is about to put you down <laughs> yeah it, like and I say that because I see the the dove here carrying carrying the um, ivy and I want to say that um, yeah it looks like there is berries maybe it's ivy but there's berries on here could be mistletoe too it's hard to really see but I want to say that the new year it's like right now um, could be a time where there's not much going on for you that you're maybe feeling Groundhog Day, like not much is going on in my life, but really take the peace as it is because this egg is here and I feel like this egg is telling me that something is about to be born. So I feel like 2024 might be um, an energy for you that's super happy, bottom of the deck, happy, happy. And it might be because of a message that's coming. We've got also got message in a bottle. So we have... Um, the message in a bottle is card number six. It's 15, which is the devil energy, but it is also breaking down to a six. So it feels like there could be some sort of a message coming in here. It is going to make you happy, but it could be kind of toxic. It could be someone who has been hanging in your emotional energy. Um, we have card number 26, which is an eight. So happy, happy is about the self. It's about putting the hard work in on you so you can be happy. And maybe it's that's why you're at peace here. Let's keep going here. It feels like something is about to be birthed in the new year for you because of this egg that is here. And it could be love. Absolutely. We've got a dove flying over the egg. We've got doubt. Why do we have doubt? What does this say? I release the need to know all the answers. I like it. So no more doubt. You've come to peace with the fact that you don't need to doubt yourself. You don't have to have all the answers up to here. Bottom of the deck, we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And it could very well be that you've just decided to go into this energy of peace. That you've decided that I know my path. Everything that I've done up to here is because of choices I've made um, in the past here. It feels like you no longer doubt that the choices that you made were the right ones for you. And I believe that too. That you're no longer blaming people for the things that are going on in your life. You're now accepting the fact that it's all up to you. It's all up to you. And uh, whether or not you thrive has always been up to you. I think this is what you're coming to the peace with. All right. One more oracle and then we'll get into some tarot here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. We've got unknown territory. I was just saying, you're exactly where you need to be, my friend. Yep. 
Look, you are exactly in the space you need to be in right now. You're in this peace. You've made peace with your doubt about yourself. You're no longer blaming other people for the circumstances of your life. And you are exactly where you're supposed to be. You are in unknown territory. And I do believe that this egg on this card here is telling me that, that something is about to be born in the new year for you. And it says here, unknown territory. I feel like this is an unknown space for you. To be in peace, I feel, is an unknown space for you. It says you're exactly where you need to be. And so you finally come to a place of peace in your life and you're exactly where you need to be. Uh, we have uh, bottom of the deck says, voyage of the heart, love thro flows through you and to you. So it doesn't just come from you. It actually comes from others and will flow towards you as well. And, oh, okay. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Again, we've got the card under here, happy, happy. I think I'm connecting with somebody who's had a really challenging 2023, or at least the last six months or so has been, you know, super challenging for you. And I'm sorry if that's you, but I want to say that, and I know people don't want to hear it, but I feel like you were supposed to go through all that stuff so you could get to here. I'm at year 55, right? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, at level 55 of this game that we're playing here <laughs> that we call life. And um, it feels like uh, that, you know, looking back now, I see how all the things I went through, all the decisions I made were the decisions I was supposed to make. None of them were mistakes. None of them were bad things. It all was teaching me up to here. All right. Take a look at some tarot for you, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up for Libra with the tarot, please. More energy for Libra. Libra, if you're interested in a private reading, by the way, please look below this video. You will see the, the uh, link that says more. If you click that, it'll open up a panel where you will see the link to Wizio. All right, if you want a private read, they begin at $40 over there. Here we go, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please tell me about Libra. In the week ahead, please, last week of 2023. Tell me about Libra. We've got the Ten of Swords. Things are coming to an end, a painful end. And I feel like you maybe have doubted yourself through the whole situation. Should I allow it to end? And... It feels like it's it's coming to an end whether you want it to or not. It might be overwhelming here. Um, for some of you, I feel that there are things that are being moved out of your way uh, because it's time for you to experience some peace. Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Now, I just want to bring your attention to this particular depiction. She's holding two cups, and above her she sees five cups, which is sadness and regret. So I want to say for some of you that there has been a relationship in the last six months or so that has come to an end, and um, you're wondering whether you really want to get back into any sort of loveship. Uh, it feels like you're experiencing some overwhelming emotional regret about something that came to a painful end. It feels like somebody maybe would have maybe deceived you, possibly. We do have the Queen of Wands here, and the Queen of Wands is uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. I want to say that um, I feel like you're just going your own way. Is that the eagles that sing that? Go your own way? I don't know. But I, I, what I want to say is, I feel like you have decided to leave this past, this this painful past behind you. I feel like you're, you're into an energy of peace. I feel although this was a very overwhelming and sad ending for you, I feel like you've come out of it as the Queen of Wands, whether you're feminine or masculine. I want to say that you're no stranger to sadness, to people hurting you, to things that tried to kill you but only made you stronger. It feels like that energy with the Queen, and I feel like you're going to carry forward regardless. Regardless of this overwhelm, regardless of the regret you have from whatever went on in the Two of Cups, I feel like you're just going to take on the energy of the Queen of Wands and move forward. Because that's what the Queen does. She just shoulders that crap and keeps moving. She's used to, you know, she's come from a life of of hardship. She's come from a life of possibly trauma. And um, there's been a lot of 
things that have happened to her. She's forged through fire is what I'm trying to say. She's the person that no matter what happens, she just keeps going. She's sitting on that, on that throne in spite of everything that's happened to her. So I think that you're a pretty strong Libra is what I'm saying. That this, this last six months has been kind of tough. You may have lost a relationship and it may have come to a really painful ending. And I feel like it was deceitful or somebody had not intended on staying with you long term, but possibly was very attracted to you and wanted to keep you in their life as long as they could. We do have the Three of Pentacles. You might decide that you just want to be friends with this person. Yeah, no, I don't even think you're friends with them anymore, to be honest. I feel like you just had to get out of their energy completely in order to heal. And I feel like you heal into the Queen of Wands. And so I feel like this, you know, this one being the, the badass of the bunch, right? Doesn't really care what you think, doesn't care what anybody thinks. And I think that's you, Libra. I think that you've decided you're just going to take your lumps and heal and head out. But I feel like this deception here, the Ten of Swords is with the Three of Pentacles. This deception leaves you in a space where you don't even want to be this person's friend anymore. You're not interested in, in any sort of partnership with them. This partnership has come to an end and I don't think you're even interested in being their friend any longer. I think you're going to heal yourself right out of that. Looking good, feeling good, the Queen of Wands, right? Lots of energy going forward to do the things that make you happy. Uh, we do have the Moon energy here, which is Cancer, Pisces energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo is here as well. Um, I feel with the Moon energy here that you might go into the new year alone. Um, and I don't mean single. I mean like sitting on your sofa <laughs> with a cup of hot chocolate, uh, ringing in the new year with whatever program is on TV. I don't think you're going out. I don't think you're visiting people. I don't think you're talking to people. I feel like even if you get those texts to say, hey, happy new year, I think you're going to ignore them. I feel like the moon is telling me that there is things that you need to work out about whatever went on here. It feels like you're really deep in contemplation and healing as you move into next week, but I feel like it moves further than that. I feel like it's like the next four weeks. So I want to say like it's it's probably getting close to um, Aquarius season by that time, around the 19th or the 20th. It feels like you are going to kind of do your own thing and not really talk to people. Um, the moon energy here tells me that I feel like you're doing some shadow work. That's what it feels like. Because it's not it's not only that this person deceived you or this ended in a really harsh blocking situation or whatever it was. It feels like it's it's um it's something that has to do with shadow work, that it's stuck here in the dark energy. But I want to say that there's something here that you that you don't really see, that things are, maybe they look worse than they really are, because I really do believe as a human that rejection is protection. So if this person let you go, I feel like they were karmic and they were supposed to let you go. You were supposed to learn the lesson of how it feels to be hurt by somebody you trusted. And so that teaches you, maybe I shouldn't have trust with everybody. Tell me about the uh, Ten of Swords for Libra, please. What came to an end here? Ten of Swords for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We've got uh, the Chariot. It could have been a Cancer uh, that this came to an end with. Um, the Chariot tells me that it came to an end quickly. It's like you didn't expect it. You thought everything was going okay with the Three of Pentacles. You thought that the partnership was thriving, that it was growing. And then all of a sudden, very quickly, it comes to an end here. We do have the Two of, of Wands. It's because somebody made a decision, a quick decision, at the crossroads to take another path. And so... It feels like you're still waiting for them to say sorry or to say something about how they hurt you. The queen has a wand and then there's two here. But I want to say that it was a quick decision on someone else's part that they, I want to say the way that they deceived you is maybe that they, they knew that they were going to end this with you and that they kept it going, kept it going until the point at which they made their decision yeah, we've got the nine of cups in the reverse. Look, this wasn't your wish fulfillment. This person was a karmic lesson for you. And I hope that you'll take the lesson and not be sad or bitter about it because we all need our lessons. And, you know, it's not like 
it's not like a you know we have we have karmic people in our life for a reason and even soulmates here we have soulmates they're all here to teach us lessons that's what we need to be able to move forward here so please i hope that you're not too sad about the things that that didn't work out for you because this was not your wish fulfillment i feel like it made you grow <laughs> I feel like this made you grow into this, made you grow into the queen that's like, really? You're going to do that to me? Fine. Fine. Do that to me. I'll show you. I will heal myself into the queen of wands, and the queen of wands doesn't listen to anybody. Colors outside the lines, does what she wants, goes on her own path, and builds a life anyway. Feminine or masculine? We have uh, the, king of, the king of cups here. King of cups is Scorpio. Pisces Cancer. We have the Four of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. Do you know what I think? I think that whatever ended here, whatever ended abruptly and hurtful and it made you feel emotionally overwhelmed, I feel like it was supposed to lead you into, um, into flourishing as the Queen of Wands because look, here comes the King of Cups. A queen and a king go together right? It's, uh, it's, it feels like this relationship was supposed to teach you a lesson to make you level up because there's a king in the future. There is someone here who is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Someone who I feel is looking for a bigger commitment. The Four of Wands is here. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Someone who's very attractive. Someone who's very attracted to you and is ready. Someone who's ready for a relationship. Someone who is in control of their emotions. Someone who is uh, e emotionally available someone who's not going to throw tantrums and do things in a second that are going to hurt you. This person does things slow and strategically. This person is not the one who's going to move really quickly. I'm going to say that I feel like you're going to be super attracted to this person. <laughs> I think you are. There is a new beginning coming here. It could be in the week ahead, but it also could be in the new year. Absolutely. Tell me why the moon is here, please. Two of Swords is in the reverse. You've made a decision about what? About being confident. Standing on your own two feet. Doing your own thing. Building your business. Making your money. <laughs> getting your bags. Do what it is that you need to do in order to make yourself uh, attractive to the King of, 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 of Cups. And I'm not saying that you've grown so you could be attractive to someone else. I feel like you don't care if you're attractive to someone else. But I feel like what you're doing in this moon energy and the Four of Swords is you're working things out. You're healing things within the self. And you're, you're willing to dive into this, into this moon energy in order to find your confidence here. I feel like you've made a decision that you need to dive in deep to find out why you let this happen. And I'm not saying that it was something that you brought in your Self. That's not what I'm saying. But you didn't know when you were getting into this situation that it was a karmic relationship. But now you'll know the signs. You'll see it coming, right? That's what the moon energy is about. When you're learning about your shadow work, you don't want to repeat the lesson or the cycle. So yeah, we do have the, the six of cups here. I feel like uh, it, it feels like you are um, you've made a decision to stand on your own two feet, to give people reciprocal energy anyway. Regardless of how this person hurt you back here, whoever they were, I feel like you've decided anyway to do the shadow work and give people reciprocal energy no matter who they are. No matter if it's going to be a karmic or a soulmate or all the labels we like to put on people's foreheads, it doesn't matter. You're there for the lessons. And I think that's really lovely. Tell me more, please. Tell me about this healing, because I feel it was really sort of emotionally, uh, an emotional overload. But I also want to say that the Seven of Cups is also about an illusion. And please understand, it. And, and I don't say this in any derogatory way, but sometimes in a relationship, when we get into a relationship, we try and make it work. We, you know, there's misgivings and forgivings that we do because we want to stay in, in a partnership. We want to make it work. And I want to say that the illusion was that the other person was working on it. I feel like you brought all the energy. You're the Queen of Wands. You brought all the energy. And this person just kind of held on for whatever it is that you were given out as the Queen of Wands. Because the Queen of Wands is all in 100%, right? She's not scared of skinning her knees. She's been hurt before. So 
uh, feminine or masculine. I keep saying she because there's a woman on the card. But I feel like this was, um, again, like building you up to this brand new thing that's coming in in the, in, in the new year, I believe. So I feel like the, that you're going to be spending your time alone in the week ahead. You're going to be thinking about things, maybe doing some shadow work. And I want to say that it's not as bad as it seems. If it seems bad right now, it's not as bad as it seems. Once you get through the healing, you will level up and you have some really beautiful stuff coming in here. Someone who is actually ready to begin something new here. Yeah, and I think they're going to be really attracted to you and you're you're very attractive. So I think that you spend the, the week ahead in hermit mode. Some of you might decline... Um, decline invitations to go to someone house, someone's house for dinner. Some of you might decide that you just want to spend next week and going into the new year in a very relaxed state, right? Um, shout out to the heavens with happiness. I feel like you're going to be in a very relaxed state. Love flows through you and to you. It feels like there is going to be a uh, walk in beauty. I love it. Wondrous universe. I feel like you're really looking at your heart, looking at what you want, figuring out how you're going to make 2024 different than the last six months of 2023. Yeah, right. Just remember, please. You're in the right spot at the right time. You're making the right decisions. Don't doubt yourself. I'm going to go for now, Libra. Thank you so much for watching and uh, happy holidays to you and happy new year. Thank you for being here and being so kind and lovely in the comments. I'm going to be gone for now. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.